Hello and welcome everyone to a tutorial video about positioning pockets across the seam line. So I have my pattern piece for my pocket and as a first step I create an internal shape and copy it to the front part of the pants. After I position it correctly I will now um, choose the command add point to intersection and draw a line from the top to the bottom and with the rotate function I can now rotate, make it parallel to the y-axis which allows me to position my pocket and that I can have the, this angle going on one side of the pocket to the front and also on the other side. Now we have one point here on top that uh, we have to delete because it moved slightly and uh, we add, just add another point to the intersection and have our reference points by that. As a next step I will measure the distances and transfer the same length that you can see here also to the back part. Um, yeah, on the back leg I do this two times to create my two reference points and after I've done so I will draw a line from the top reference point to the bottom with the internal line tool just to create the same um, a straight line that I can now once again rotate and make it parallel to the y-axis. Now the next step will be to make a copy of our pocket shape and place it uh, like exactly on this reference points and now we will see we have a smooth transition. Only thing is that the seam lines don't match currently so I will just reposition the seam lines and draw a line from every point um, downwards. So now you can see that the seam lines match and as a last step you simply attach the pocket pattern piece to the pants and they match nicely even if it's across the seam line. Now um, I'm currently using the 5.2 beta version so there has been the pleat function has been added and so I'm just gonna make this now more into a cargo pocket and uh, add two pleats to my pocket and then a pocket flap. So I draw the arrow and uh, the seam lines and the, so and the fold angles have already been placed. Only in the top I just need to place my sewing lines and with the sewing lines I just need to make sure that the li sewing line type is turned and you can see after I simulate it um, it's nicely added and pleat and folded. In order to create the flap I offset it as an internal line and trace the shape as a pattern piece which I can then just simply shorten and modify a bit and then sew to the created internal lines. With the superimpose side command it automatically positions itself, I drag it a bit out and here we go, this we go.